Games are a wonderful way for kids to practice math facts. They really enjoy working with partners or small groups. You know, addition top it, any of those topic games are wonderful. The dice games and using dominoes are all really helpful to them because they're getting it in a game-like fashion. It's just not rote learning for them. And the children rotate different activities based on the main portion of the lesson that I'm teaching. And they're usually doing paperwork, maybe some math boxes or something that we need to catch up on from our book. Um, I was also able to meet with a small group of children that have a little bit harder time working independently on math boxes. All right, well boys and girls, we're going to move on to playing uh, addition topic today and I just want to review the rules with you. Our materials are over here in our purple bucket and you will have your number cards from zero to ten. Two of you with your game partner will be playing and you're practicing your addition facts. You'll need to shuffle your cards Place that deck upside down. You will take two cards and you'll call out the sum of those two cards. Then the player with the largest sum wins the round and takes all of the cards. If there's a tie, what do you do? Matthew. You flip them again and whoever wins that one gets all of those That's cards. right, you have a playoff round. That's right, you take two more cards and that person will get to take all the cards. At the end of the game, the player with the most cards wins the game. So here's an example. Andrew turns over a two and a three. He says two plus three equals five. Tanya turns over an eight and a nine. She says eight plus nine equals 17. 17 is more than five. I take all four cards. Okay? So boys and girls, can you get with your game partner, please? Decide who's going to get your materials and find a spot. Thank you. Fourteen. What's your sign? So who won? Zero plus five. So what's five? Plus zero is five. Okay, boys and girls, take out your math books, please. And boys and girls, open up to page 173. Give me a thumbs up when you're on that page, please. Excellent. Excellent. You need a pencil, boys and girls. Boys and girls, I'm going to review these, so can pencils please be down at the, on the table? Thank you. We're going to go over each box. Then anyone who would like any help or would like to work with me can come over here onto the carpet, okay? In box one, a seashell costs 48 cents, but I pay two what? Quarters. quarters. How much is two quarters, boys and girls? Raise your hand if you know. Sarah, how much is two quarters? Awesome, Sarah. So how much change would you get back? Don't tell me now, you're gonna tell me in your book. Not right now, put your pencil down, we'll do it in a minute. In box two, you're going to label each part. What can you tell me about this triangle? Guy, what can you tell me about? It's divided into what? E e equal. equal parts. Tell me the fraction. Box three. These children must walk to school because five children live six blocks away and seven children live, or four children live seven blocks away. So, you need to finish the graph. How many kids for six and seven? Here, finish the fact family. You guys are really good at that. If you look at this spinner, which number are you most likely to spin? And in box six, you need to do greater than and less than for each set of numbers, okay? Ready to begin working? Yep. All right. Now I'm going to pull out some quarters here. Okay. 49, 50. How many hops did you take? 
two hops. So how much change would you get back? Two what? Um, two cents. cents. Can we write that in in box one, please? Excellent, Julian. You got it. Good job. And there. Yeah, you did a great job. You got it right. Yeah. Well, look at this one here. Four children live seven blocks away, but you filled it all. Yeah. Okay. Good job, though. How did you, Luke? You tell me what's the answer. Good boy. How many twos are on that spinner? How many threes are on that spinner? Three. So what number are you most likely going to get? Three. There you go. Way to fix it up. Thank you. Let's see. How did we do? Oh, excellent. Way to go. Thank you. All right. We're going to take a look at box one. Box one. Who can come up and give us box one? Sarah, come on up. How much change would you get from 48 cents? If you have 48 cents for the shell and 50 cents to the lady, how much? Two. Two cents, because how, well, how do we figure that out? We go 40, 49, 50. 50. So it's two cents. Way to go. Feck family, come up and do that for us. Ooh, Natalie, come on up. Nice printing. Ooh. Excellent. Okay. Now what I want you guys to do is chant it to me. Are you ready? One, two, three. There's two that are the same. What do we need to do? Matthew, what do we need to do? Oh, Natalie wants to come and fix it. <laughs> what should it be? There you go. Okay, let's chant it. One, two, three. Way to fix it up. Okay.